Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be for Atlanta Gladiator fans. This is going to be their season recap and player analysis video. As unfortunately, after they finished second with 91 points, according to the ECHL site, to the 85 of the Jacksonville Icemen, the roles were reversed in the playoffs as the Icemen were by far the better team, taking down the Gladiators. And also Francois Broussard, being the best goalie in the league this year, winning that award deservingly so, showed up and showed out and showed why he was that, unfortunately, for Gladiators fans in this series. But let's get into it and let's get into the Gladiators season as a whole and what put them in the promised land of the Kelly Cup playoffs but couldn't continue to try to get to the promised land of what is truly the biggest promised land, the Kelly Cup. According to the ECHL site, I apologize for, um, I appreciate the critiques for the Rapid City Rush video and apologize for if I missaid some stats, but it's not my fault if I read stuff off of the ECHL site and those stuff isn't accurate, that ain't on me, just to let people know. Uh, according to the site, they scored 220 and allowed 198 goals against. So that's a good <clears throat> mix because you allowed under 200. Your offense was stellar. The The problem with the Atlanta Gladiators in the postseason was they just couldn't have enough good goaltending. Uh, Neil Madaka, uh, Madaka excuse me, is obviously a young kid that you're not going to put all the pressure on the world on or anything like that. But Chris Nell, uh, you expect him being over 100 games in the league to be able to step up more. And he really had a bad series. Their defense wasn't the tightest, but it wasn't bad. Uh, obviously, in the OT game, uh, that wasn't the, the, the necessarily the game to bark home about for uh, defenses whatsoever. Uh, and then when it came to the 3-2 game, that was just a great battle that Jacksonville was able to win in the end. Same with the same 2-1 two, two game of Game 3. And then they just wipe the floor with them up 3-0. to oh. Sometimes that happens when a team is up 3-0. to oh. The other team is kind of down and out. And the other team apologized for the stupid phone in the background. Uh, the other team just kind of wipes the floor with them and allows the... Uh, doesn't allow the other team to kind of do anything. Sorry, that stupid phone is a distraction. But let's get right into it as uh, the... The Atlanta Gladiators this year, I thought they were a good overall club. They were a fun club to watch. They had very solid offense to good defense, um, allowed under 200 goals, according to the site. Obviously, that's good. Had over an 80% penalty kill, so had a very good penalty kill special teams. Had a solid power play as well at 19%. It was just kind of inconsistent at the worst times, and uh, that's something that, that could bite you in the butt. But Sylvester, obviously, being their points leader. Nesbitt, their second guy. Gertler, Keeley. They, they had depth scoring because the, the, going over 20 points goes all the way down to Shin, who was able to have a breakout in the playoffs. He had three points, I believe, in the first round, if I remember correctly, off the dome. And if you multiply that out, if they were able to advance, that's going to get you closer to your regular season points share in the uh, postseason. Obviously, on defense, they have Tabata, uh, who I sometimes mispronounce his name. I apologize. Vilio. Uh, Davison, those guys can do it on both ends. And then you have Berard, Yoder, Graves, Thrower, uh, both uh, throwers um, that are able to do it really on the defense. They're going to be more the defensive guys with your top two guys at Davidson and Derek Tabata um, being the offensive pusher defenseman. So I think this team did have a good mix this year. I think goaltending bit them in the ass in the end. Uh, their defense was not really bad in the series in the playoffs. It was not the best in the overtime game. Uh, and, but it, the Icemen are also kind of a team of opportunists where they were able to score goals with less shots than the Gladiators in some of those games as well. And that, that deserves to be praised on their end, but also just kind of goes to show maybe the netminder wasn't as sharp as attack on the other end. And I think that's what really caused the Gladiators in conclusion for this video in the end when it comes to the postseason. But when it comes to the regular season, um, Neil, Murdaka, uh, even Tyler Parks, who played 23 games for them, all of them were able to play a sharp enough season in net for them to be one of the best teams in their division in second place, uh, finishing in second place on the season. So I think they deserve the praise and credit for that. It's just... Unfortunately, once it mattered most and you were in the postseason, they were not able to take advantage 
and to step up for the Gladiators enough, and the goaltending is key in the postseason, and it was not good for the Gladiators. And obviously, Broussard's the goalie of the year, so the Icemen have their goat in net for when it comes to this individual season. But this has been a quick season recap and player analysis on the Atlanta Gladiators. Appreciate everyone's support and criticism of videos because it helps me get better as well. So I, I apologize for when I misset a power play stat or something, but all the other stats I did read from the ECHL site for that Rapid City Rush video, so that ain't on me. Peace out, everybody. Please subscribe down below or up above on the EG Dues widget to keep the channel growing to 250 or more by the beginning of June to meet our goal. Have a great, safe day, everybody. Enjoy the offseason, Gladiators fans. You got a good team down there in Atlanta. Unfortunately, like the one guy I saw post on uh, Facebook to me, it's unfortunately not continued playoff hockey for Atlanta hockey fans. But maybe there's next year, uh, and that's always tough to say, but I hope for you guys because I know even after the Thrashers left, there's still a lot of pounce of hockey fans, uh, pouncing hockey fans, I should say, in Atlanta. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Jews widget.